Get ready to match the stars. Bert Crombie. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Raleigh. Lee Merriweather. Richard Dawson. And Gail Fisher. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now here's the host of Match Game 74, Gene Ray. Everybody had a good day yesterday watching the uh, Rose Bowl Parade on CBS and watching all the bowl games and all that, and now here we are into, uh, uh, where, are, where are we are. Anyway, and they said it wouldn't last, and here we are in match game 74, and we thank you all for joining us, and you especially because we couldn't do it without you. You're a gifted bunch. Found you found a little year. heart at your chair. <laughs> See how I feel about you? <laughs> All right, let's say hello to our two players, Harry Reynolds and Paula Arbaugh. Hello, players. <laughs> Harry's a current champ. He's won two games. He has a total of $450 to his credit. How do you feel about that, Harry? Pretty good. Beats <laughs> losing, huh? Right. How do you feel about that, Paula? Well, he's got four, I got two. Now well, all I need right. is four, right? Right. And he needs none. <laughs> we're gonna put the evil eye on him. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna finish this game with round two, I guess it is, right after we pass along this message to you. Here we go with round two, folks. Gonna finish this game. Final round. Paula, it's up to you to make a selection. A again. She wants A. Last time out, you matched Richard and Charles, so the two of you will not participate. Everyone else will, and this is it. Mary said, John, that wasn't the garbage you just threw out. That was my blank. <laughs> Mary said that to John. That wasn't the garbage you just threw out. That was my blank. <laughs> you can take a little nap while you're waiting there. Just doze off for a minute. I there, thought he'd been sleeping all week. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> Paula, Mary said, John, that wasn't the garbage you just threw out. That was my... Oh, dinner. Dinner. <laughs> I think it's a good answer. You think that's a good answer? Let's see if it scores for her. Bert, let's see if she matches you. I said lunch. Oh. oh. Can't match lunch and dinner. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. Sorry about that. Oh. Brett. I didn't come anywhere uh, near food. I said mother. <laughs> <laughs> Say. No, no. no, audience, now listen, don't laugh at her. We have to book one weirdo on every show. <laughs> She's a resident weirdo there. Take a, a weirdo to lunch and or dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Paula, you must match Lee and Gail to stay in the game. Lee, may we see yours? She's looking for the word dinner. I know, but this happened to me once. My girdle. Oh. Girdle! Yes. So Harry wins another game. Congratulations. Come on, Harry. Lunch. Okay. Well, Paula, we've enjoyed meeting you. We wish you the very best of luck in 74. Thank you. We've got a gift for you together with our thanks for being on Match Thank Game you. 74. Thank you. And I had a good time. Bye-bye. Paula Harbaugh. Bye-bye, Paula. Bye -bye. Well, Harry, how do you feel about it? Good. <laughs> you stick with those one-word answers, disease. don't you? He told me a little earlier, one of the answers that came up here was social studies, and he <laughs> teaches social studies, and never thought of it, it occurred to him to say it. Let's see what happens now. We have polled a recent studio audience, Harry, and we got their best response to this. Blank bond. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500, see if you can match it. The second, $250, and the third, $100. Now, which three celebrities would you like to get a little assist from? Bert. Oh. Bert Convey. <laughs> yes, scared me to death. I was right. Blank uh, Bond. James Bond. There's one for you. <laughs> Brett. How about Brett? War Bond, you little devil? War yeah. Bond. Now pay attention this time, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> and Charles. I don't have one. <laughs> Blank Lord. Bond. James, uh, James and War were the only ones I could think of. <laughs> Government Bond. Same Government well, Bond. Was he too late with that? That's okay. Government bond. I mean, bond. if that loose the rules, that's okay? Yes. Government bond. 
it's All right, now you may choose answer, uh, one of those, James Bond, War Bond, or Government Bond. Oh, I or meant Savings us... Bond. I didn't actually mean War Bond. You meant Savings Bond? Well, War Bond is what you said, and that's the one we're going to have to go with. Sorry, Brett. Well, sorry, right, Brett. Gene. I'll take Savings Bond. <laughs> oh. You're pretty sneaky, aren't you, Brett? <laughs> Okay, savings bond is what he uh, says is up there somewhere, preferably in the $500 position for him. Let us find out right now, first by revealing the $100 response. U.S. savings bond it is, and there it is right off the bat. Congratulations. Okay. I don't know what's under the other two, but I think we ought to find out I'd right love now. To. You think James if, Bond if, is under there yeah. somewhere? James Let's see if he's under the two hundred and fifty dollar response. James. Bail yeah. Bond is there. You could use that. <laughs> well, I don't know. James Bond has got to be there somewhere. Right. James he's Bond, where are you? Come out wherever you are. Are you under the five hundred dollar response? Yes, yeah. he is. There you are. Okay. Now, Harry, you've won the hundred dollars. Means you'll play for ten times that amount, or a thousand dollars. To collect, you got to match one celebrity head-to-head -head exactly. Which one will it be? Bert. Okay, Bert, you get ready to write. Harry will face me. Here's the $1,000 question. Blank post, B-O-S-T. Blank post. Okay, Bert's finished his answer, Harry. Now it's up to you to give us your response, see if you can match him. Blank post, what do you put in the blank? Emily. Emily Post, he says. Bert, for $1,000, may we see your answer? Geez, so many posts. I was thinking bowl time, I said gold post. I'm sorry, Gold Harry. post, okay. So there's no match there. You've added to your winnings, Harry. You're up to $650. You're gonna meet another challenger. Here comes Dorothy Zinni. Okay, you know Harry Reynolds, Dorothy? Yes, I do. Hi, Harry. How are you? Fine, thank you. Just you wanna... excited. Are you excited? A little bit nervous. Take a deep breath. Okay. I'm afraid I'll pass out. No, no. <laughs> Let me hear you breathe, Dorothy. I don't know if I can. Take an inhale. Okay. All right. All right, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Dorothy, where are you from? Granada Hills. And I what have, do you do? Oh, I'm a housewife, and I That's have nice. three boys. Yeah. I, they really make me nervous. This is really? nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Get around your kids, and they shake you up a little. Oh, you know Good luck it. to Dorothy <laughs> and to Harry. Here we go. Dorothy, the challenger makes a selection, if you would, please. Okay, B. B is what she wants, and that's what we're going to give her. Here we go. Everybody plays. Uh -huh. Janet said... I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> the good the news story is... story of my life. I just found a really cheap place to live. The bad news is, it used to be a blank. <laughs> Janet said that. I got good news and bad news. Good news is I found a really cheap place to live. The bad news is, it used to be a blank. By Jove, she's got it. All right. Ready down here? Ready up there. Yeah, yeah, Spelling doesn't count, don't worry about it. Just put it in the slot down, and let's, we'll figure it out somehow. Goal post. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be a goalpost. <laughs> okay, Dorothy. Janet said, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is I just found a really cheap place to live. The bad news is it used to be a barn. Barn. Oh, isn't that good? <laughs> barn. Barn is okay. Yeah, okay, like a stable of barn, you yeah. know. Yeah. You like oh. barn? You like our answer? There. Bert, what do you say? I say a house of ill repute. Oh. <laughs> Brett, what did you say? I had to clean up his answer for him, you know. Yeah. Yes, I did. said house of ill repute. You did. Oh, right. Okay. That's two of those now. Watch it with the buzzer now. I've warned you before. <laughs> Charles? It's really not easy being on a floor with two people that come up with those kind of answers. I said a lovely French word, a brothel. A brothel. <laughs> Sorry, Dorothy. Oh, I am too. Yes. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that there's something strange between Charles and myself. I said brothel also. Oh, yeah. There is something strange. Yes. 
<laughs> All right, Richard. Now we have two ill reputes. <laughs> <laughs> two <laughs> orders of broth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have more, you lucky step. <laughs> Gail, are you ready? Yes, I thought it would be a red light district. Red light district. <laughs> One thing I have. Okay. <laughs> Dorothy. What did she say? <laughs> Dorothy, get her back on nighttime television. <laughs> and I'm just too glad. All right. <laughs> we'll get back to this game we'll in just a moment. So, first we got this.